Today we have a special guest named Jared Bowling and he is the founder of a new prophecy video game that we'd love to talk about. So my friend Jared Bowling has been working on a game about the three angels messages. Prophecyquest.net, if you haven't heard about it, go there because now we have a video game, a video game that's on the cusp, the cutting edge that's going to bring about the truth through Bible prophecy. Hey, this is my first video to you, the viewer. So what do you say we get to know each other? Let's stream big. You and I had the opportunity to sit down and think of the most epic idea possible of bringing the three angels messages to our culture. What would that look like? I want to build an epic first person point of view Bible prophecy seminar that works on almost any device by making a video game. But it's not just going to be any video game. One thing our church has done really good is meeting our culture where they're at spiritually. Whether it is through the beginning of pamphlets, videos, DVDs, YouTube, cable TV, satellite. And I believe if done properly, we can meet our culture where they are at spiritually. What if we could break the sound barrier of today's world and the noise of it through the three angels messages, through one of the most popular ways people consume content, giving people the opportunity to experience a digital Bible prophecy seminar. The three angels messages would be entering into the gaming world. For the past six years, I've had this idea of prophecy quest, this video game idea, and taking the normal Joe on this journey through the words of God. But the technology was never really where it needed to be at. It was always lagging behind. And the amount of time that was needed to create the game was quite a lot. When you look at the technology of six years ago versus today, the fine detail in the plants and the vegetation and also the realism of the human skin texture, especially with the new technology of lighting and ray tracing. Hi. I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? His greatest invention is the Imagination Station, an incredible machine that allows kids in Odyssey to see the past in a whole new way. The cousins Patrick and Beth have voyaged with Vikings, walked into the arena in Rome, and fought alongside soldiers in the Revolutionary War. And that was just before breakfast. <laughs> Follow all their adventures and go on your own in the Imagination Station book series. Also, the price of which it costs to create these things things can be easily duplicated. So the price of creating a video game is a lot lower than what it was before. And I haven't even begun to even talk about the analytics. I think I'm going to have to save that for a different video within itself. People that play video games, um, 3 billion people on this earth, one third of the earth's, well, a little bit more than one third of the earth's population is playing video games. The average gamer is 34 years old. What? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I've, I've read that because of gaming when it kind of hit the population was, you know, way back. And so it's it's our generation and up that kind of started with these things. Right. Gosh. Yeah, we've seen them introduced with Atari and Nintendo. And so. Yeah. Um, viewers retain 95% of a message when they watch it on a video compared to 10% when reading Seriously? it in a text. Wow. Wow. I think that makes a lot of sense because there's sounds, visual. there's visual, there's, I mean, there's a lot of um, things for your brain to remember. I mean, that's why when you're reading text, right, you're, you're attaching pictures so that your brain is, is able to digest that information with the picture, right? But you're not talking about an immersive, you know, You know what, in the same vein media. as what you were talking about, like oral traditions or oral things and then getting written down, it's almost like the next step of evolution is like, well, yeah, let's put video with it. Let's put sound and music. And that would have been a great thing if we would have continued to put Bible, you know, Moses, what he wrote into video form, but now it's just been used by the enemy for so many I guess that more makes things. sense because in a movie, it matches our reality closer mm -hmm. to a text because mm -hmm. when we're living, I mean, you were in the same room, there's sounds, there's visuals, there's mm -hmm. all of that. So, okay. It's like putting sense. you there. Right. And now we're in the future. So it's kind of hard to, when you're reading the book, well, what was the, what was it like in Jesus' day? Well, let's show you 
I think to have this game Prophecy Quest would cause a shockwave the world has never ever felt in the most epic way possible. <laughs> but only if it's done right. Hi, my name is Jared. I'm the founder of Prophecy Quest, and I know you probably have a lot of questions in regards to the game and also about me. So I'm gonna be creating another video on those uh, topics in the future. But if you do have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the section down below so that maybe I might be able to answer those for you. And who knows, maybe your comment might be on the next video. Oh, if you haven't done so, make sure you check out prophecyquest.net. There you'll see all of our supporters and our young Adventist professional supporters. There you can be able to get connected with other like-minded people. Also, check out our Discord link to get more involved. So you're probably wanting to know more about the project or who I am, and I'll be making more videos on that in the near future. Let me give you the juice version of who I am and what this project is. I've been married since 2004. I have four kids, an Iraq war veteran, been in the ministry since 2015, being an evangelist and a Bible worker, working for different conferences. And I'm currently working in Lexington, Kentucky as a Bible worker. One thing about me is that I've never been accused of having a small idea. But enough about me, let's talk about the game, Prophecy Quest. Prophecy Quest is a first person point of view game where it's played like a movie but yet you can interact with the movie being played out this isn't going to be just any other kind of game where you go out and do these missions collect this and hopefully maybe someone might get a general concept of bible prophecy in the game you have a guide and this guide leads you to other events in the story at these stories you meet let's say patriarchs from the Bible and possibly even reformers. For an example, in Daniel chapter two, your guide introduces you to Daniel himself. So you're speaking one-on-one -on -one with Daniel and interacting with him. That is so uh, wait for it. pretty convincing. This is probably, I think somewhere near Japan. See if this, and I'm seeing this. You are on a headset. And I, and there's, an, there's a storyline. Uh, how long until this game comes out? Now, I'm not wanting to get into a great amount of specifics in regards to the game because there's a lot in development, but I'm just trying to give you a little taste of the vision. One thing interesting about the game is that the uh, computer characters, when they're talking to you, they know that you're a gamer on the other end of a device communicating with them. And they know that you're interested in Bible prophecy and you interact with the computer and the computer gets to know you as a gamer. They're able to know how much knowledge of the Bible you have or don't have. So then the game can be able to give you a little bit more extra content to help fill in the gaps for that player if it appears that they might be struggling with certain concepts. At times, the computer can address the individual based on who the individual is, whether they're Christians, a different religion, agnostic, and also atheist. And with this understanding, the game is able to mold itself to the individual themselves, focuses on the quality of what they're learning and how they're learning it and connecting them with other digital ministries and their local churches. There's gonna be different levels in the game based on the subject or topic that you're talking about. The scriptures are actually gonna appear in front of the person that's gonna be playing the game while they're interacting with, let's say, Daniel. There's so much more I'd like to talk about in regards to this game. Go ahead and check out Little Light Studio. I did an interview with them. It's at about 14,000 views right now, last time I checked, so make sure you go and check it out. Hopefully I can be able to start to get 3D animated visuals for you guys to be able to see, but uh, right now it's just me. Prophecy Quest is at the beginning stages of building this boat. I recently went to Generation Youth for Christ. There was a lot of youth. I had a booth there and I shared Prophecy Quest with everyone that walked by and everyone had questions and they, there was a lot of interest and people were standing in line to wanting to learn more. Hey, future editor Jared here. Someone said I should put this testimony in this video. So here it is. While I was at GYC and I was talking to the youth, I would survey them and I would say, hey, have you guys ever gone to like a Revelation series or been a part of a Revelation series or seen any videos on Bible prophecy? And three out of four of the youth that I talked to, 75% of the youth at GYC said, 
No, I've never gone to a Revelation series. Many are excited about this concept and what it can do and what it could be. In an age dominated by media and technology, in an age where everyone has watched a movie or seen an ad or is streaming something or of course playing a video game, we need something, something that Christians, people who are searching for truth, Bible truth, can tap into media-wise, in this case, video game-wise. And so that's where Prophecy Quest comes in. This is an answer to that. And so I want to encourage anyone and everyone out there, whether you're a grandparent, a parent, an uncle, an aunt, a child, a brother, a sister, whoever you are, look for Prophecy Quest. This is a game that will introduce your people, your, your family members, your friends, to Jesus Christ through Bible prophecy, a legitimate game with great cutting edge graphics not cheesy at all great stuff get it prophecyquest.net go there and that's why i'm raising funds to get a booth to go to asi where it can be placed in front of a group of people that will also be excited about this exact same project and possibly funding it too in the meanwhile i'm going to be developing an epic business plan hopefully creating some visual content to help show what prophecy quest is and eventually i'm going to want to build an alpha something that you can test and to test this game's potential of what it can be and what it can truly do to the world will you help me to build prophecy quest will you help me to be able to share the three angels messages while the doors to the ark are still open this is a very interesting project i know it's one of a kind and there's not one like it my name's jared thank you so much for watching this whole video I really appreciate you taking the time out of your time to consider supporting Prophecy Quest. 